Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a collective reading, no specific sign. Keep in mind, not everything you hear is going to resonate. Take it only what sounds like it belongs to you. Disregard the rest. It's a general reading. It's not specific to just one person. So it's for the collective. It's for everybody. Let's see what's going on in your world, in your life between now and the end of June. What's going on with the collective? Please read me clear and accurate messages. The most important messages for the collective to know. What are the energies surrounding the person watching right now? What are the energies surrounding them? What do they need to know? Please make me clear and accurate messages. Collective, how you doing? You look good. All right, we got cards jumping. Overall energy. Looks like there's something that needs to be fixed that someone's not working on or somebody's not putting in the work. Somebody could actually uh, be having some type of trouble at work or could have lost a job on the verge of losing a job. We'll see where this goes. Situation is something you're waiting for. Three of Wands. Could be waiting for some assistance. Something that you're waiting for. Something to come into balance. We have two wands on one side we have one wand on the other you can't have a table with only three legs right kind of need four legs for it to stand so you could be waiting for this other leg to show up to come in and balance things out here i see that you're trying to be optimistic but it's you're having a trouble you're having a hard time actually looking at the cup as being half full as opposed to half empty yeah you're wanting to get out of your head about this, this is something you've been thinking about it's something you've been thinking about, having sleepless nights, so you could have been worrying about this, but it looks like you're, you're coming out of this. You're trying to get out of your head about this, or, or whatever this is, stop the worries, or the worries are, are, are coming to an end. So you're dealing with somebody who was non-committal, you're dealing with a player in the past. Oh, two cards. Where you see yourself right now? Oh, oh, okay. All right, so look, I feel like this is a um, you're you were dealing with the player, and you probably still are dealing with the player. Um, this player could be a fire sign. It could specifically, it could be a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Pisces. I have heavy Sag actually, um, and Pisces so far. But um, anyway, this looks like a third party situation here. This is like either you, this could be your energy though, uh, depending on who I'm talking to, but this could have been you, this could have been your person, but somebody was non-committal, somebody was in their player uh, in their, their player energy here in the recent past. Right now, I feel like this possibly could be you because the way you see yourself right now is three of cups in reverse. So this could be spending time with somebody that you're probably not supposed to be spending time with, going out to see somebody, hanging out with somebody. Um, could be somebody in your circle or, or, or in, your, in your group of friends, but... With the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Three of Swords in the upright, and the Three of Cups in the reverse, this is telling me that this is a third-party situation, no matter what. And it looks like the person that you're dealing with over here, too, it looks like they possibly could be doing the same thing. Per the uh, energy of the person that you're dealing with, Queen of Wands in reverse, which could represent a, a, a side piece or another person. This could be somebody who is uh, who abuses their power too. This is somebody who they know they look good, so they they wear the extra short biker shorts when they go to the uh, uh, to wherever to the grocery store or whatever. They turn heads. They know they turn heads. It's somebody who could be abusing their power, but it looks like there's definitely some third party energy here. All right, let's dig in. What is the three of wands? Why is the three of wands here? Three of Wands, yeah, so like I was saying, you're waiting for something to come and balance out. Six of Pentacles. This brings balance. This is recipro reciprocity, equal give and take. Somebody could be telling you, hey, like, oh, okay, this is going to balance out. But it's like they're not showing up or, or, they, or they're or they saying, it's like, okay, I'm going to do this. But you're like, okay, well, when? And it's just not, it's just like, it's not happening. So that's what it looks like you've been worrying about, but you've... It looks like you trying to be positive about this and be more optimistic about it. it seems to be, you're having trouble to be uh, you're having trouble doing that. That seems to be the problem here. How does this person uh, how does this person see the viewer? How does this person see you? How does this person see you? Same thing. They see you as waiting. Waiting, planning. 
here in the situation here, Three of Wands, and in the way they see you, it's the same thing. It's like you're trying to figure something out. You could be listening to your intuition too here with the um, High Priestess. I see you trying to figure something out. It's like you've made a decision. You've made a decision and based on that decision is what you need to figure out. Okay, now that I know what I want, how am I gonna get to this? How am I gonna get to that direction of, of uh, or how am I gonna get uh, to that destination of what I want? I figured it out, but now how do I get there? Two of Wands. So it's like this is you planning. We're trying to figure something out, waiting and planning. But that's how this person sees you. I feel like you could be doing this in secret too. How does this person feel? How does this person feel about the viewer? This don't look good. I'm gonna tell you right now. This don't look like a a, a good situation. So they feel rejected. So this could be uh, why this person has a Queen of Wands in reverse. This person could be feeling insecure, uh, uh, feeling rejected, unwanted. Could be vice versa. What's the mutual energy? What's the mutual energy? Mutual energy, four of wands in reverse. So yeah, this was this this could actually be your uh, your uh, twin flame too, but it doesn't have to be. Not every single connection that says twin flame, or not every connection uh, um, that feels like a twin flame connection is a twin flame connection. Sometimes they're karmics, sometimes they're narcissists. So, but anyway, uh, four of wands in reverse. This is a breakup. This is something that is uh, uh, it's it's not being able to move things to the uh, to the next. To the next level to the next point if you're talking go to seeing each other seeing each other to dating dating to changing your little status on uh, myspace or whatever flip book whatever y'all use uh follow me on instagram by the way too uh sterile and then uh, uh shameless plug um but it's going to the next stage it's going from the next level from where you are uh relationship to engagement engagement to marriage but in the reverse if things could be stagnant things could have come to an end they could have broken you guys could have broken up And this is mutual between both of you guys. Um, what is this person hiding? What do they not want the viewer to know? Oh, man, I got cards just flipping everywhere. All right. <laughs> we'll take this one. They don't want you to know. Oh, so they could be... Um, yeah, this, so there's a third-party situation. I feel like this person could be... Could have somebody else. I see a father figure right here. Um, pass me an Aries. It doesn't have to be, it's a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be male or female. There's no gender in tarot, but, um, I see a, I see like a, a masculine energy. Let me see. This could be somebody from your past here too, also with judgment in reverse. It's going to be somebody that, uh, well, clearly it's somebody that you've dealt with already. But this could be in regards to like forgiveness or, or like working things out. After something's come to an end, working things out. But somebody's feeling rejected here, whether it's you or this person. Somebody's feeling rejected and insecure. There could be space in between you guys to where you guys aren't seeing each other. You guys aren't, uh, you guys like aren't at the same spots. You guys aren't at the, uh, or somebody could be declining offers. Like, hey, you want to go out and get some, uh, get a drink or get some, some coffee or, and somebody's like, oh no, well I'm busy or okay, I'll see. And then they never get back to you. It looks like you've been worrying about this. This has been, it's been having you stressed out. So you've been waiting for this to come into balance here and it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's coming to balance here. Somebody was non-committal here. Um, you could be realizing that there's a third-party situation here in the near future. If you don't know already, it could be coming to light, but it could come with a little pain here too. We have a heart here with three swords going through it. There's you, there's your person, and who's this other sword belong to? So there's three sources of pain here coming in uh, for what's coming in for you here in the near future. 
you could have you could have had some type of unrealistic expectations. Uh, possibly like, okay, this is going to be my forever person. No, this is, okay, we're going to work this out. And it's just going to be perfect. And then some bullshit could happen and then realize, all right, no, that ain't it. But um, it looks like whatever, like if you're excited about this or or if, if whatever the spark is, the spark's going to be blown out. And it's, it's going to come with a little bit of pain here too. There's going to be drama. I don't know what this is. You could find out about this. Either you, you could end up having a conversation with this person, but, um, or this could just come clear. But whatever it is, I mean, the outcome, you have the Five of Wands, that's conflict, competition. Let's clarify. Why is a uh, Five of Wands the outcome? Why is a Five of Wands the outcome? Yeah, you're going to give up. There's a lot of ones, Wands down here. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But, yeah, you're going you're gonna to give up on this. You're going to stop putting in the work. Overall energy in the bottom of the deck was the uh, eight of uh, pentacles in reverse. So it's like stop, stop putting in the work, stop trying. Um, it's kind of it's, it's a giving up energy. Could be over because of competition here, but I have too many threes here to disregard those. Plus the knight of wands in reverse. So, however resonates with you, you know your story. I don't know your story. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, dealing with the Aries, the Aries is taking a break. They're falling back. They're thinking about something. They're doing some type of deep, heavy contemplation, of help, uh, heavy thinking. Dealing with a Leo. Dealing with a Leo. Somebody's going to come in and apologize. They're going to give you a small gift or they're going to give you some type of... Uh, it's going to be a small little olive branch. It's not going to be much, but it's, it's going to be... It, 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 the person could be coming like full of emotion, but it's going to be a small gesture. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius... Sagittarius has uh, walked away. They're 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 moving on to something else or in a different direction. They're mo they're moving on to um, they're kind of leaving it all behind. But I, I do see somebody walking in the other direction. If you're dealing with a Cancer, I see a new opportunity. It could be in business finances, or it could just be an opp opportunity in uh, uh, with you and this person. But I do see abundance and um, good luck and a clean slate and good stuff. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio is, um, I feel like they, they want to be in control or you're dealing with somebody who is in like high power. This could be somebody have a, like a big job or they have like a big position or at their job, but this is somebody who, who sits above, um, other people. This could be like some type of leader or something, but I do see that this is the head of the household, a father figure here. He's, he's looking at the kids. He's looking, uh, he's watching the kids, but the kids aren't really paying attention to him. But, um, um. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I don't know what the relevance of that to anything is, but that's what I'm seeing. If, if you're dealing with the Pisces, you know, with the Pisces, the Pisces, um, there's there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of uh, caring and compassion, although it may not be being expressed. It could be being kept uh, held in, but it is there. If you're dealing with a uh, Virgo, dealing with a Virgo, I see something growing here. Something that's fertile. This could be the, um, I see a, a, a mother figure. Um, somebody could actually be pregnant, but I'm seeing a mother, a mother figure where things are like, she's building stuff. Like things are growing. She's gardening. She's doing, she's doing, uh, everything that has to do with growth. This is, so something is fertile here. Something's growing. If you're dealing with the Taurus, um, you're moving or you're, you're actually doing some healing from some type of painful ending, something you could have been backstabbed or betrayed by someone. But I do see that um, the worst has already happened. It's not going to get any worse. It's only up from here. You've already you've already gone through the worst part of it. So whatever that is, that's over with. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, you're going to get the truth on something. You're going to find out some type of. Uh, you're going to get some type of clarity on something. Wherever it comes from, it could could come from the universe. It could come from anywhere. But whatever it is, is going to be the truth. There's going to be a conversation coming in or something. You're going to get the truth about something. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. Dealing with Aquarius, um, Aquarius is feeling, um, somebody's getting, somebody's feeling rejected, whether it's you or the Aquarius, but I'd see somebody kind of pouting, like, they're not being able to have their way. And not even in, like, in a selfish way, but kind of, like, a disappointed, like, is that all you got? If you're dealing with a, uh, Gemini, dealing with Gemini, uh, somebody could be, 
you could be receiving some type of good news. You could be receiving a small gift, maybe even like a paycheck or if somebody owes you money. That could be coming back to you too. But I do see something coming uh, towards you. It could even be a message, but um, whatever it is, is coming to you and it's positive and, and it's stable. And if you're dealing with a Libra, you're going to be going into a relationship. I do see a heart-to-heart -heart, um, happening here. Um, you're going to be uh, having some type of heart-to-heart, -heart, and it looks like you guys are going to be agreeing that you guys are compatible and uh, moving things forward. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. All right? I love myself.